Uh, my head went through the side passenger window mm. and I do not remember anything. Anything before March of 1999 for me does not exist. What if one day you just suddenly forgot everything? Your wife, your kids, making coffee or even doing your job. What if you had to start over and relearn everything you know? That's exactly what Sean Powers had to do. Sean Powers is a CBT Nuggets trainer. He knows Linux backwards and forwards. He, he's an expert. But something happened to him to where he lost his memory. Everything. In this interview, we cover how that happened and then how he recovered from this. The key takeaway from this, guys, is what I always say. Live your life full of gratitude. Be thankful for everything you have and everything you do. And also, leave all your excuses at the door. After watching Sean's interview, I don't think you're gonna have any excuses anymore. Well, hello! What's going on, guys? Welcome back to Network Chuck. I've got the one and only Sean Powers here. Now, he not only is a DevOps extraordinaire, and he not only knows Linux better than he knows his wife, no. <laughs> um, Hi, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> he has an amazing story about how he's progressed in his, in his IT career, and it's, it's astounding. Um, and I'm, it was encouraging to me, and I know it's going to be encouraging to you, so let's, uh, let's jump right into that. So how, uh, you tell it better, just tell me what happened. What happened to you? Okay, um, I'll actually start right from the beginning. All right, so I uh, went to high school like all uh, people do, most people do. <laughs> Out of high school, I went to Michigan Tech, and I was going to be an electrical engineer for the sole reason that they made a lot of money, and that's what I wanted to do. I was a pretty smart guy. Um, I went to Michigan Tech. Uh, during the third semester, I was in Calc 3, and they were doing things with numbers that I did not think needed to be done. So I skipped all of my engineering classes and went to the computer lab. Now this is back in, I'm gonna date myself here, this is back in 1993, 94. So there really Ooh. were not a whole lot of options for uh, networking classes or anything other than like C++ programming. That was really, you know, if you were gonna go into computers, you were a C++ programmer. Yeah, you were it. a computer science major, yeah. always. That was yeah. it. Uh -huh. And so I skipped classes and went to the computer labs to figure out how the networking worked and figure out, you know, okay, so this is a client, what's the server? And I, and I spent the rest of my time at college, not going to class, but just going to the computer lab. I ended up dropping out of college, uh, <laughs> which is good because it was expensive to just skip and go to class <laughs> or to computer labs. But anyway, I went back and um, after that I, I got a job working tech support at a local um, college. It was a community college and they had just started internet service for their students. Um, 1993 is when the World Wide Web was invented. Ooh. You can look that up if you want. <laughs> uh, so I was tech support helping people install Trumpet Windsock. And if you know what Trumpet Windsock is, you get a special gold star. Because Comment below, I will heart and retreat or however I can make that possible, <laughs> if you know so what that is. No Googling, don't cheat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I was running tech support and then on the way home from, no, actually on the way to work one day, um, for some reason, my car went off the side of the road. Uh, my head went through the side passenger window, mm -hmm. and I do not remember anything. Anything before March of 1999 for me does not exist. So, so I, I, when he first told me that, I'm like, okay, he, he didn't remember back then. No, no, he still does not remember anything yeah, beyond yeah, been past that point. Like almost 20 years, and I still don't remember anything. No childhood. Um, I had a child who was two years old. I remember having a child. I was married. Still am. Uh, hi, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Donna. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so it was kind of rock bottom for me, right? I. I no longer could do the job that wasn't all that great anyway. I mean, I was doing tech support, but it wasn't that great, but I couldn't even do that. Um, I was agoraphobic, you know, this head injury, amnesia. Um, it was a really, really bad time for me. Uh, so I couldn't work. My wife was very pregnant with our second child. She had to go back and bust tables. I didn't tell you this part before, oh, but she had wow. to go bust tables for us to pay for food. Um, That's crazy. I stayed at my mother-in-law's house. We slept on a mattress on the floor. Um, There's like, violin music playing here pretty soon. Right <laughs> I'll key that in right now. <laughs> but, um, so that's where I was. And the reason today that Linux is my operating system of choice is not necessarily some big philosophical decision that I made, although I love Linux, high open source. Um, <laughs> it's because it was free. 
<laughs> I couldn't afford anything. <laughs> I had to relearn my trade, and I couldn't afford anything but Linux because it was absolutely free. Um, so some of the skills I had, like I didn't know how to use my computer to open up a window, uh, but when I got home from the hospital, I saw the computer keyboard, and I'm like, um, Donna, can can you make a window come up here so I can type? Because my fingers knew how to type. I could type like the wind. I didn't know what to type, but oh it was uh, yeah. So that was that was how I started my career was a head injury, um, hospital stay, forgetting my firstborn child, <laughs> and uh, sleeping on a mattress on the floor. So if I can start there, that's a pretty low bar. Yeah, I mean, think about that. I mean, whatever starting point you are right now, you likely know how to fire up your computer, right? I mean, you, you know how to connect to Wi-Fi, you know how to, you know how to watch YouTube, that's, that's a plus. <laughs> Sean didn't. I mean, that's that's yeah. crazy. He he went from knowing everything to be an IT tech to supporting IT to not knowing any of that. I even know how to turn a computer on, and he started from scratch and and learned Linux and he built a career. And I mean, now he's a CBT Nugget trainer. I mean, that's that's awesome. <laughs> because I want other people to have that same. I mean, I love what I do now, and I wasn't loving what I was doing at the community college. Uh, that's why I drove my car off the side of the road. <laughs> it was just subconscious and no, you don't remember why though, that's the thing <laughs> you yeah, may have. <laughs> Funny story uh, about that though, I was driving with coffee because I'm an IT guy, right? So I had coffee in my hand, um, but it wasn't really coffee, it was gas station cappuccino. Pumpkin spice cappuccino, before that was such a popular thing. A thing, yeah. Uh -huh. So pumpkin spice cappuccino all over my lap. To this day, the smell of pumpkin spice cappuccino just makes me ill. <laughs> just because. <laughs> well, that, me too, yeah. but not for that reason. Yeah, that's the same reason. <laughs> wow, that's insane. So I, I guess this this is probably the, the coolest thing we can ask is, how did you go about learning Linux? What, what was the method you went about? Because you started from nothing, like little to no IT knowledge to becoming a Linux master and Linux ninja. Yeah. How did you do that? So my answer to that question in so many forms is always the same way. Just do it, right? So I, I said I, I learned <laughs> Linux because that's all I could afford. That includes I couldn't afford books on Linux, right? Mm. And the World Wide Web was the kind of thing where uh, you had to call a guy running tech support to help you set up Trump at Winsock. Um, so, I mean, it wasn't like, I mean, I don't even know if Google existed. I don't know when Google started. Do you know the date uh, that it started? No idea. So comment below so people can know. Yeah. I don't think Google was a thing. I think we used like Alta Vista or maybe <laughs> Yahoo. Yahoo was out pretty early. Yeah, I think Yahoo was there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, you know, you couldn't learn as easily online Googling things as you can now. And I couldn't afford to buy the books and I lived in a small podunk town, the library, computer things, they, were, they didn't have any books on computers there. So I got the um, Halloween version of Red Hat, and that's a pretty famous version. Really? Yeah, pretty famous I didn't know there was one called Halloween. That's It was like so early on. It, that it was released fun. around Halloween. So um, <laughs> install that, you know, with floppy disks like you do. And oh my goodness. I just learned I mean, for the, Hold on a second. A floppy okay. disk is a square item. I'll put it right here. Most of you probably won't know what that is. How, how big is it? Uh, well, three and a half. No? They used to be five and a quarter right, and actually right. floppy. And then before that, they were like eight and a half and really floppy. Anyway. Yes, yes. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> most Back of you in probably... my day. <laughs> so you would download the save icon because <laughs> that's all people know it as, right? Yes. <laughs> that's where it came from. There's a history to every icon. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I, I, I just installed it. I did. That's... I, it would just learned it by doing. And that's inc and that's absolutely incredible. Because like now to, to get Linux going, I mean, you, you can find a million YouTube videos, or you can find a one awesome course that'll show you everything on CBT Nuggets. It yeah. just happens to be Sean's course. It, you can use VMs too. I mean, there yeah. were no VMs back then, right? I had to ruin our computer and make my wife angry and install Linux. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you poor wife. <laughs> Yeah, and now you can just isolate it. No one knows the wiser. No one's the wiser. It's yep. oh my goodness. Exactly. It's good times. Oh my gosh. So I, that just tells you, like, I know a lot of you guys probably don't have a lot of money. Maybe you're in a horrible career. You don't know uh, what to do with your life. Try Linux. Uh, just, just knowing Sean's story, knowing he had to relearn everything. Hey, at least you're starting out a little bit better than that. I'm assuming. I mean, you're watching this on a computer. Uh, and you have the internet, the, the wide web. I mean, you can learn Linux for free right now. Uh, you can start right now. Like, just pause this video, go away. The, the video is pretty much over anyway. Just go, go, go learn some Linux right now. <laughs> don't, don't do the car accident first. That wasn't the, that wasn't the important stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, from, you know what? I say that maybe it was because I wasn't brave enough 
to do something other than what I was doing. That's And that's another good point. I mean, how many of you guys are on the help desk right now? How many of you are doing tech support and you're, you're maybe comfortable and you, you like where you're at, but you know there's more, you know there's more than that. Um, you're, you're probably afraid to just take that next step. So no, again, don't get in a car accident, no. <laughs> but maybe you can make this your car accident. Maybe this could be your wake up call that um, you've got no excuses. You may have fears, you may have things getting in the way, but you don't have any excuses. Put those away now and s start learning. So sign up for CBT Nuggets. I, that's a great place to start or find something else. There's tons of free stuff, but just start right now. Like literally start now. Car accident? Car accidents. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh no, I'm out the side window. No, <laughs> if you have any questions for Sean, I'm making a promise for him, and I'm giving him an obligation right now without even knowing it. If you have any questions for Sean, comment below. I'll try to get these to him, and I'll, I'll filter them for you. Okay. And, and I'm sure he'll be gracious to answer them. Um, how to get started as a Linux admin. Um, if you look on, again, if you look on uh, LinkedIn, if you look on Dice and you look up for, you know, Linux engineer, Linux admin, uh, these are lucrative careers. And uh, it's, I, for, me, for me at least, I, um, becoming a Windows admin it is almost an easier path because you already use Windows 7 or you, Windows 10. You're already familiar with that environment, but no one uses Linux that, or Ubuntu as their main operating system. I mean, some people do, obviously, but. You should, it's totally <laughs> you, awesome. It, it is awesome, I mean, I, I don't use it as mine. I have it as a, a VM, but uh, it, it's, it's there's a more, more of a barrier to get to that point, kind of like networking. It's, it's not as easy to break into it as it would be like a system admin uh, for Windows. So it's, it's a rare skill, it really is. So man, look it up, check it out, start today. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. And um, if you haven't already, hit that like button, subscribe. Um, I'll put all of Sean's information below his his courses. Um, he does this awesome thing. It's not the Linux Journal. It's Linux Journal. Yeah. <laughs> Here, <laughs> well done. Uh, Linux Journal. <laughs> um, he he publishes articles on there, and it's obviously it's a it's a, a publication talking about Linux, and he does all this amazing stuff talking about Linux stuff. So check that out. All the links below. Well, thanks so much for, for joining us here. Sean. Absolutely. Awesome. Anytime. And uh, I'm not that smart. You can do Linux too. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's the secret is, you know, we, we're not that smart. Uh, we just, we know how to find things and we, know, we can regurgitate it for you. So, and you can do the same thing. That's it. Anyways, uh, we'll catch you guys later. I'm on Network Talk. <laughs>